hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be making not one not two but three hairstyles out of this lula bells grande 26 inch ponytail she is long so yeah i'm going to be doing like a sleek low a sleek mid and a sleek yeah sleek high i just thought well i've got this ponytail i've had one before and i cut it regrets because i was like well it's so unwearable but you know what i honestly don't care like if i want a long 26 inch ponytail then i'm gonna have one so i'll kind of go through obviously the ponytail like i do with all of my lula bells hair extension videos and then i'll show you what what we'll do so if you want to see all three looks with this ponytail then please keep watching to start off color i feel like in every single video i do with lula bells hair extensions i have a different color and i think it's just because i there's not a color for my hair unfortunately and because i purple shampoo it sometimes it's like icier and more ashy and then if i don't then like with my new year's video when i left it without purple shampoo in for like three weeks it goes quite like yellow not yellowy but kind of a bit yellowy so i was a bit stuck on what to get which color but then i was like it's a ponytail so when i have it up as you can see this stunning root situation my roots are quite dark so it doesn't really matter which one i went with but but the slightly darker one than last time i got california blonde i've got these in some of the long five pack wavy blow dry one i'll link the video if you want to see that up there how i put them in and everything so yeah as always it comes in this it's this side it's so long it's little okay it doesn't have a hair net in but i think it's just because it is so big and you have to keep it straight i know they do two types of other wavy ones once like can big wave and one's like a beachy wave so i obviously just opted for the straight one so what we'll do is we'll start below and we'll work our way up a few things before we start you need greasy hair because one i'm gonna be putting gel in so if you do it with clean hair that's just a waste of a wash in my opinion it also helps to kind of grip better and i don't know about you but my hair can go sleeker when it's greasier so this is about three day hair i put my hair in a ponytail when i was doing my makeup and because i apparently do have a receding hairline i just use some powder contour to try and fill in these little gaps here so do that if you have a hairline with me unfortunately we're in this together girl and then finally i straightened just my hair and didn't do it very well when i had it in a ponytail i just straighten the ponytail so it's only a rough straighten but it just means that it will blend better once you've got it in so what will you need obviously the ponytail you'll need some gel this is just the got to be ultra glued i've got one of these combs i've got one of these tangle teasers that took me so long and then i have two bubbles these are just the same color as my hair do that if possible and a load of kirby grips let's start by just brushing it all out i don't know if i'll actually be able to do this with three different hairstyles but we're just gonna wing it so now it's all brushed you can see how greasy it is because it just stays back from where i've had it in a ponytail but that's good that's good and then just taking my comb i'm just gonna center part Okay, there we go just brush over that and then what we're gonna do is just take some of your gel obviously you don't have to use this gel you can use whatever gel you want this is just what i have taking it in my fingers and i'm just gonna kind of just put it through my roots because these are the bits that are gonna be slick so we just want to start working that then just using your comb to really brush it flat. And then, yeah, we're just going to basically put this into a low ponytail. Making sure that any lumps and bumps are just flattened down. <laughs> I look like a ghost right now. That's why I find these tangle teasers really good to do that. And then once you are happy and it is as sleek as you can get it, what we're gonna do is literally just tie it off with one of the hair bands 
Okay, because I've got layers in the front. I will need some clips just to keep it in place. It's had a right scare, like something was beeping. I had no idea what it was. It wouldn't stop and it turns out I left my straighteners on, which is just really not good. Anyway, back to this. Obviously, depending on where your layers are, if you have them. I like to do it behind the ear if possible, just so you can't really see the clip. Okay, time to add the extension. Let's get her out. So how cool is this? This is like the label. It's like a phone. You know, it looks like just little bells. And then it's just got like a cute little conversation. Cute. Anyway, so this is the pony. Just a good brush a bit so you can see because it is that long. Put her good old brush out. She's heavy. There's a lot of hair here. But like good heavy. And then as with the other ponytails, it's just got this bit just a little curly whirly there so if you don't know how to apply these ponytails they are obviously so easy you just get this little clip put it through your hairband and wrap it around i'm gonna be honest i've never actually done it in a low pony so i'm gonna see how this will go but i will turn around and you can try and see what i'm doing It really is that easy and then just get a grip and secure it in if you're gonna wear this out and like on a night out when we're allowed out again then do put lots of grips in oh my god it's so long <laughs> look at this oh my god that's actually insane how long is this and it's so like sleek Oh my god, look at it. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a music video, I can't even lie. Look at that. <laughs> this is so fun. So yeah, so easy to put in and so secure. This is look one. Back to where we first started, wow. That felt great. If you ever feel a bit down, a bit bad about yourself, whack one of them in, dance around, and you will feel so much better. Anyway, on to the midi. Now, there's different ways to do this. Obviously, with these bad boys, it's not going to be as easy to do. So, again, clips will be involved. But it's kind of similar in a way to before. What I'm just going to do is section off these bits at the front like so just keep them out of the way for now and then we're gonna put the rest of our hair into our mid pony i've kept the bits at the front here out so that we can put them in it's still like a sort of middle parting vibe going on but this is going to be a lot harder than it should be i am giving up because that's taking too long and i'm just going to get some gel again just put it through everything and hopefully that will work a bit better you know it's all about trial and error my hair is gonna feel disgusting after all of this but it's fine hair wash day hands up if your arms hurt me okay once you're happy with the positioning we will then just tie it in with your bubble right that's in and i look like how i used to look when i was in year eight with these bits down basically you just want to flatten these and bring them back to where your ponytail is and just clip the clip obviously depending on your layers like behind here like i want to put my clip like here so you can't really see it as much so clip if you have long hair, like no layers at all, then you can probably like just twist them round. There's a bubble there, but it's not quite long enough to do that. You need to secure with more grips, obviously do. So we don't want this coming out at all. So now it will just look basically like this. And we will get our pony again like before. I'll turn around and you can see what I do. It is exactly the same, but this time, I find when it's higher up, it's a little bit more fiddly. I don't know why, but you'll see. And as the same 
this before. Grip into place. Okay, we've had a slight disaster, but you know, it's fine. Just gonna pull what came out of that out again and just re clip it into place. Push the ends out, and then you have a nice, sleek, still parted, defined midi pony. So I'll show you a long shot of it again. Still obviously got all of this length. Quite a lot of it does seem to come out though, but there's so much hair. It doesn't even matter. It's just, so, it's so soft as well. Like it is such a nice synthetic hair. So yeah, this look is, look two, look three time. And potentially my favorite, because it's very Anna Rihanna, Grande vibe, very sassy. Not that the other two haven't been sassy, because they sure have, but this one, now so again so much hair gel probably used half of it we're going in right from the root at the front of my hair and just bringing it back so we want a snatched tight ponytail you want that facelift look if you were going out as well i probably would suggest putting just some of this through the bottom of your hair just to keep it all properly secured now for this ponytail i usually well get gravity to help i'll just tip my head forward and get it in the place that i want it really and i'll just use my brush just to brush it all into place then i'll just take my comb and use that to get it as flat to my head as I can. This will also help drag that gel product through all your hair. Stuck down. This might take a few goes. It's just patience to get it how you want it, really. So you want it to be secure, but also looks good. No bumps. And again, scrunchy in place when or a bubble in place when you are happy and then i mean i don't have a toothbrush to do this but if you have one you can usually just do that to get rid of any little flyaways but i'm just gonna do it with my fingers and then brush So I am happy with that. This is a slight issue. I look a bit like a bird, but you know, that will be covered. So again, final time taking this. Um, yeah, again, what should I do? I don't have to turn around this time because it's literally right here. It's quite hard because it's on top of your head, but we'll, we'll make it work. So here we go. it's actually quite hard because you want to get it tight but there's so much hair in the way going from experience on this one you will need to clip the life out of it to keep it in if you could have someone to do it for you i'd probably suggest doing that and also i've said in my other lula bells the mini grande review video i've done i'll link it I put a card up for you but in there i did it with what well, i did it both with a ponytail and a bun and it kind of talks about how if you've got thin short hair then do this look with a bun not a ponytail like your own hair in a bun not a ponytail because it will help secure it but if you've got thick long hair like me my hair's not even long but you know what i mean then it it just piles on the top of your head and it just doesn't look too good and there you go all me ariana I mean, you do feel right sassy in these. I think I was thinking that this would be also nice to wear out if you could plait it. So I'm just gonna give that a go, see how it goes. And then I'll feel proper Beyonce like with it. <laughs> I 100% will be wearing this out so if you see me with a massive fuck off plait then oh, 
put my own mind your business oh this is so sassy a little bit love it and there we have it those were the three looks using this lulabelle grande 26 inch hair ponytail extension again i got this in california blonde and actually i know i didn't really discuss it before but it does match my hair really well now so i'm happy about that super soft super easy to apply it does get slightly knotty so just always have a brush on you super sassy it is quite quite heavy on the head gotta bear that in mind and do what i'm doing today and i'm just wearing it as like a practice <laughs> practice run for when we can wear them out to see if i actually can last all day but yeah thank you so much for watching i'll link this pony down below and if you've got any questions obviously do ask like i said shade is california blonde and yeah thank you so much for watching give me a subscribe of course if you don't already chuck me a comment and a like if you could too and i will see you in my next one bye